everyone, my name is Michael Watkins. I am a freshman strategic communication major from the good old Newport News, Virginia. And I'm Mallory Beard, a sophomore journalism major from Los Angeles, California. And you are watching the <laughs> Eminem, Eminem News, News broadcast. broadcast. Today we must present to you a public service announcement regarding the, um, Zika virus? <clears throat> Mallory, Mallory, it's pronounced Zika. Well, excuse me. I was not paying attention to the pronunciation, sir. Let us redirect our focus to the facts. Mm -hmm. Agreed. The Center for Disease Control has stated that it has caused it is caused by a mosquito bite. Usually gives the person who the person infected a rash, mild fever, conjunctivitis, and muscle pain. According to the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, prior to 2015, the Zika virus there you go. outbreaks occurred in areas of Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Islands. However, upon May of last year, the Pan American Health Organization has issued an alert regarding the viral infections spreading in Brazil, those being the first confirmed. Here are some clips from our one-on-one -on -one interviews with couples and individuals plagued with the disease. Today we have the Johnsons here with us. Mrs. Johnson was actually a victim of the Zika virus disease after she contracted it this past summer. We're going to ask Mr. and Mrs. Johnson about their experience. So Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, can you please tell me um, how you dealt with uh, her condition after she contracted the disease? Well, my wife and I were on a trip to the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and after a, a couple of weeks, she began to be more fatigued than she normally would be, and we came back home to the States, and then it was the baby. Um, well, yes, I went to the doctor for my six-month checkup, and I was actually informed that I had contracted the virus, in the Dominican Republic, and upon my own research, I discovered that I contracted it through a mosquito bite, and I was informed that my baby here gonna be murdered. Good evening, everyone. We have three of Miss Johnson's close and personal friends here to interview about the Zika virus. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience, ladies. Hello, everybody. I'm Courtney. I'm Jamil, and I'm Brittany. All right. Now that you've introduced yourself, Brittany, we're going to start with you. Um, tell us what you know about the Zika, vi Zika virus and how it's still affected Ms. Johnson. Well, to start off, we all research, and from my research, I found out that it's not fatal to the child, so the child will live and will just have a really small head. Okay, and Jamil, Jamil, correct? Yes. Well, I looked up the um, sexually transmitted mm -hmm. part of the um, disease, and I really think that... Um, Mr. Johnson should go get checked out. Maybe my best friend should. But we don't. Is that a scandal? I hear. But that's for another time. All right, and Courtney. Uh, to be honest, I, I thought she had gone gay. Why are you your head? Uh, is that a mosquito? <laughs> it's a mosquito! To be assured, there is no mosquito in the newsroom. I assure you. As you can tell, the Zika virus is spreading rapidly. An entire family in the United States has already been affected. An entire family? An entire family. The whole Johnson family and her best friend. Preposterous, I tell you. However, the Pan American Health Organization has provided us a list of preventative measures that we would like to, you know, share with the world. Absolutely. All right, so first and foremost, avoid allowing standing water in any outdoor containers. We do not watch your water. Watch your water, first of all. Just watch the water. <clears throat> watch the water. Cover domestic water tanks so that mosquitoes cannot get in. Mosquitoes are the primary sources of this disease. That's how it's being transmitted, you know, besides, you know, infidelity. But we ain't gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> unlock drains so that could um, accumulate standing water. And then use screens and mosquito nets in windows and doors to reduce contact between mosquitoes and pipes. What do you say? In addition, some other preventative measures and um, precautions you can take. Uh, you can cover your exposed skin with long sleeve shirts, trousers, and um, hats. Absolutely, as Michael is uh, showing. Yes, I'm sure. Use repellents recommended by the health authorities, the ones that you are not allergic to, by the way. Oh. Apply them as directed on the label. As directed. We want no um, <laughs> lawsuits. <Let> amen. <laughs> and during the day, sleep under mosquito nets if you may. If you can, if you can. Go to big lots, go to wherever you got. Home Depot, Lowe's. Yes, whatever is in your, in your state, country, city. Just stay safe, folks. And, and that is all for our Eminem broadcast. News broadcast, Mallory News.
<laughs> news broadcast. Thank and you. And we will see you later. Have a great one.